Okay, this video is not about how to live in a sedan, but how to plan ahead so that when you have that day when you both left behind your phone and your wallet and you've run out of gas because you know your life is just not working, how you can have planned ahead to make it so that your night sitting wherever you are isn't so bad. This car was purchased 15 years ago with no intention of ever camping in it. It's just got a normal three-day bag and, you know, emergency provisions. Two sets of jumper cables, um, you know, some work gloves, coat, bag of hats and gloves in it. Jumper for the car and that little black box. They have a tire inflating kit to run off their engine. So the easiest solution in a sedan to being comfortable sleeping in it is to simply take the seats all the way back and then recline them all the way back and then find a hill where that level, sitting as it would, would say it's level. Of course that's not an option in Florida, but everywhere I've lived you've been able to find a hill that steep. Some sedans you can fold down their seats and make a nice bed, you know, putting your feet in the trunk. But this one, folding the seat down, gives you this very large lip between the front and the back. It does not make a comfortable bed. You can flop them both down and put some padding on both ends and make yourself a bed that's approximately 53 inches long and avoid the seat belts digging into you that would be if you just laid on the back seat. Then. Another option to get more space with one or two people is to just take the front seats all the way forward and then all the way forward for the back of the seat. And then it leaves you with more space here than you might have thought. I went into the garage and found two empty containers. You can call their good fit, either my good eye or serendipitous. It's your choice. They are not the containers I would choose if I was buying containers to turn this into a bed because they're not stout enough but they do have the easy stackability and lightweight that would be advantageous and i've stuffed the bag of bags for grocery shopping in the middle it came out of the back of the car okay and if you're my height you can fit two people my size in here to have a you know not miserable night or, you know, if you're six foot six, you can find a way to curl up there and actually get some sleep. Here, I've got two blankets you saw in the car. So the only thing I've added that wasn't just in the car when I came out is the two empty totes and this blanket, which was in one of the totes I called empty. And that video was made using a car where the owner had no warning that I was going to come and do that. I asked for permission just minutes before I came out and did the video. A car that's garaged in the city with a owner that owns their house free and clear and has a job 15 miles from where they live. She also has roadside assistance insurance and lives where she can park on a hill and rarely has more than two people in her car. So it's just a little bit of planning ahead so that when things just don't go as planned, life is still okay.